Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today while I set up the month of November in my B6 Wonderland 222 planner. I'm going to go ahead and just take my planner out of my Mansoura Atelier cover and I will also grab the colors that I used in October. October was a very inconsistent month for me in my planner. I'm not sure what it is. Sometimes that happens to me and that is one of the main reasons that I decided to go to a dated planner because even when I wasn't in it, I did keep post-it notes just basically scattered everywhere around my desk and some even on the coffee table downstairs where I would just jot a few things about each day. So these last, I think it was, let's see, yeah, these last three weeks were all pretty much back planned from my post-it notes. And I barely did anything this week. There's a lot more empty space than usual. I just used some stickers and that's totally fine. But having the dated spreads makes it so much easier for me to just jot down a little bit or even in this case, lay down a single sticker and continue on. So I will set up November as I mean to go on and we'll just see what happens. My palette for November is going to be a kind of moody purple theme, which I think is honestly what I've done for the past two or three years. I will be using this N60 Tombow, and these are the washi tapes that I've chosen. These first two are from Note & Wish. This is from Amazon, Allie Brown, London Gifties, Note & Wish. This is Dakshina's collab with London Gifties. This is from Simply Gilded. Oh, these two are both from Simply Gilded. And this is a new one that I just received from Paper Plus Cloth. And I love the color of the trees here. You can see it's kind of those deep greens and I can see kind of those moody purples or gray purples, I guess might be more accurate. I'm going to go back to using a black pen this month. So I have the Energel Klena in the 0.4. As usual, I will start with my reflect and look ahead spreads. So I have my stamps here from Amazon and I'm using the Versamagic chalk ink in the black or midnight color. This little case is so much better for keeping the baby wipes moist. <laughs> like I said though, the other disposable case was fine. It's just that I'd had it for I think about two years. So I think there was a tear somewhere in it. reflect and look ahead. I've mentioned this before, but I am thinking about switching up my planner for next year. I'm considering moving to the take a note planner and I did order both the A6 and the A5 to see which one would work better for me. And although I do think that the A6 would be more than enough space, it would feel cramped to me and that's one of the reasons I'm considering leaving the Wonderland 222. So far the space has worked wonderfully. These weekly spreads are great. I don't love the stacked weekends but for me because when I'm working it is Monday to Friday it's not a huge deal. But I'm missing the flexibility of the bullet journal where I just feel like I have so much space and I also don't want to go back to a bullet journal because I know I'm not ready for that kind of openness again. So I haven't decided yet, but I am leaning towards the A5 take a note. That being said, there isn't a spread that I could use for these pages and that's giving me pause. I still need to kind of work through how I would use each section and where I could incorporate this if it would go maybe on the monthly pages or in my journal because I do really like this practice and I might modify it a bit for next year but I do want it in some shape or form. So we'll see. I will keep you guys posted. I've had a couple of people ask but the take a note planners that I ordered just arrived a few days ago so I'm still considering. And this is still definitely an option. I love the Wonderland 222 and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to try. I'm just wondering if I want something a little different for next year. I haven't decided which purple pen I want to use. So I know I want something moody. 
let's just go back to these swatch pages. So one of the things I realized when I was editing my last, I guess, monthly setup or plan with me video is that I tend to do a lot of kind of muttering to myself when I'm deciding things or thinking through. So I will try not to do that as much because I know it can be really quiet. I'm just not used to doing plan with me's and I guess I didn't realize how much I talked to myself. So that's the N60. I think this will be too purple. This might be the way to go. This is a Sailor Shikiori brush pen. These are so beautiful. Well, they do go on that way, but it always falls off for me. I don't know what the color is, but I'll just write Sailor Shikiori here. I do think that's it. I think this one will be too blue. Yeah. And this one's probably too... Ooh, this could be a good option too, actually. And let's just fill this one in. Okay, so this one's too purple for what I want. This one is almost a perfect match, but it does lean a little bit more gray, whereas this one is still moody, but leans more purple. So I will go for this one, I believe. Yeah, I should have planned that better. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my prompts here. And then my look ahead prompts. This is actually a beautiful color. I've never considered using the fine tip of one of these as my pen or kind of fine liner for an entire month, but I'm considering it, especially that lighter gray color. Okay, I will come to that after. We'll just leave these for now and move on to the monthly spread. Let me grab my birthday stickers out of here. There's a few birthdays this month, so I don't think I'll write in the names right now, but I'm just going to put in my presents. And then this day here is just an important day that I always reach out to a friend. Oh, actually that friend's birthday is also in November. Yes, November is definitely, I think, the most full month when it comes to the birthdays of people I know. So here we go. Okay, and then I will put in my appointments with my red pen. So this is the Uni Jetstream. So 4.30 and 10.40. I don't actually refer to my monthly too often for these appointments or birthdays because I do put them into the weekly pages, but for appointments especially, I do use a Google Calendar and I have a reminder set for 24 hours before and one hour before. I need that reassurance. And now we will do the decoration on this spread. So. We've got the monthly script in here from Planner Monkey Co. I will definitely be ordering these again next year. And I do currently have an active code, so I will leave it in the description box. And you can also mention my name for my new freebie. But where are the stickers that I pulled out for this month? So I realized in October that having the sticker kits out was a little bit overwhelming, actually especially when I had more than one kit. So I didn't even end up touching this one, which is beautiful, but I'll save it. I did use quite a few stickers from this one. These are both from Raspberry Designs. These are some extras. I think I did use a couple of boxes here and there. And what else did I have? Oh, the rest will stay. We'll go through that after. But that being said, I did go through my kits and I have this one here from Raspberry Designs, which has some of those purples and Kiki's delivery service, which I love. I also have this one from Virgo and Paper. So this is great too, because it's the purple, the pumpkins, the potions, which still goes with fall. I'm just, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to use either of these, but I've pulled them out. 
And for decorating here, let's go through. I had this that came in a kit with Create with Pen. I do think I might wanna use some of these. Two. I loved her, but she's going to be, yeah, she's way too big for this space. Okay. And you know, I've been using these girls faithfully, but the purple one feels really springy to me. So I won't be using her. We've got some words. Oh, this just had some, I like these kind of botanical purples and some more create with pen. Yeah. That's what I was the most drawn to this month, so I didn't even pull out a ton after that. So let's see. I'm really drawn to this one. When it's dark, look for stars, Oscar Wilde. October was just a rougher month for me. Nothing specific happened. It was just one of those months. And that's fine. I did my best to give myself grace, but I'm still coming out of it, and I'm trying really hard to be mindful of that and gentle with myself. So this one, I guess, already has the words. Usually I have a character, some words, and something to anchor it. That being said, I'm just going to do whatever feels right for this particular month. So let's see. This Lee might just stand beautifully on its own. So, uh, but it does kind of go over onto the days. That's okay, but it does actually need to be anchored, perhaps. Oh, I did this last month, too. I need to see how much space November will take up. So we'll probably want to do it down here somewhere. Let me just see if this longer, thinner blob, <laughs> swatch, will suit. Hmm. No, I like the first one better. I do like this color because it goes with the background there, yeah. And I think I'll probably put a star here. I just want to move it up the teeniest bit. Okay. Want that kind of over the 28 there. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. I will put this down next and then we will see. harder when they're longer. I just kind of try to pick a line and on the grid and do my best to line up the bottom of each letter with it, but it's okay if it's not perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, this is just the mood for me right now. But because it does say when it's dark, look for stars, I would like to have some stars here. Maybe a tiny one down here would be great too. How tiny are we talking? Let's see. Honestly, I might go with the smaller one and put this someplace else. Yes, I like that. And I like things in threes where possible, so nope I'll consider this little grouping my three for this page 
anywhere else just feels really kind of disconnected for me. That is beautiful. I really, really like that. That also went much faster than, than I anticipated. Last month, I remember having a harder time deciding. It just works like that sometimes. Okay, well, that's done. I'm going to go through and fill this in. Do I want to use this as my pen for the entire month? Let me try and test that out somewhere. You'll notice I don't do a lot of, well, these are just, what are these? Oh, these are notes for my videos. I don't do a lot of swatching on the weekends because it's gray. But I did already move over here. Let's test at the bottom here. Dries pretty quickly. Highlighting over it, I'm sure will smear it, but it does that with the pen I would be using anyways. Honestly, that's not bad at all, but it's so close to the color of this that if I do highlight, I'll probably end up using a black pen. And what was I thinking? If I want to use the Energel Klenna, see what feels, feels better right now. Well, apparently this is what I'm going to be indecisive over. Hmm. Now that I'm sitting here, I'm realizing I could just use this as the brush pen for the month, right? Like, why wouldn't I use, ooh, well, that's probably why it's significantly <laughs> darker than this. Okay, I was thinking to myself, well, look at how efficient I could be. I could just keep this one pen in here and have both the brush pen side and the writing side, but we can see that that is a huge difference. You know what? I'm just going to stick with the original plan, use the Klenna, and if I want to switch it up, then I know that this is the marker to do it with. That's the thing. Sometimes I just get in my own head and I feel like I have to make the right decision right now, and that's simply not true. So let's see. Ooh, I finished reading The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches in October, and I absolutely loved it. So that is going here. Watching The Great British Baking Show. I believe we are on the last season before we catch up to the season that's currently airing. So that's bittersweet. I have loved having this to watch whenever we're in the mood. A great British baking show. Haven't been listening to too much lately, although I've listened to Chris Stapleton again for the first time in a while. I love him, his songs, his voice. We actually got to see him in Vegas one year, and that was an amazing experience. Creating, yeah, this is not going to be a planner-related one. This is just going to be creating space. Just creating space for myself. Planning 2023's lineup. Meeting routines. What am I wanting? I'm wanting to keep up with my new reading journal. So far, it's going pretty well. I did a whole video on that, uh, which I can link if you are interested, but it's a simple enough setup that it's working for me so far. Loving this dated planner. I am really not liking how this spread is turning out. I don't know why my spacing is funny. I thought I would just kind of start it after, I don't know if you can see, there's like a faint line here. So I thought I would start it after that and line it up, but it looks all wonky. Anyways, that's fine. We continue on. Not yeah, There we go. Not loving this spread. I'm going to put wishing for more compassion. What have I been trying lately? I'm going to put trying to understand football a little bit more. I've watched a lot of football movies in my time, but apparently that does not prepare you for actually understanding what is going on in a game and how the scoring works. But my brother has been really patient with me 
So I will continue on with that. And lately I am inspired by a union in our province who may be striking or protesting as of Friday. So we will see how that goes. Okay, what would make this month fun? Getting outside, playing on Procreate and reading. What would make this month satisfying? Having a work schedule, so I just mean something more consistent for myself if I'm doing daily substitute teaching and Procreate lessons, or I think it's called a course on Skillshare. I have had that in my power sheets for literal months now, but feeling pretty good about November. How do I want to feel at the end of the month? rested, hopeful, and content. Sometimes I'll put a stamp here, but I do think because I have all these beautiful stickers, I will go ahead and use one here. I like the idea of one of these swings. Hmm, let me see. Uh, I was wondering if I could kind of use this, like it's off of a branch, but no, it's not quite long enough. Could probably use one of these, although I think it's nicer actually just, it's, you know what, this star one I think is going to work better because it's smaller and it can look like it's swinging off this. Anyways, this is just me <laughs> overthinking guys. Oh, look at that, super cute. And while we're here, I will go ahead and choose my stickers for four memories this month. So I have my sticker binder here. And let me think. Well, I did some baking this month and well, my mom and I have been inspired by the Great British Baking Show. I think they had a, what was it? An 80s week, I think where they made quiches in one of the seasons and my mom was like I remember when I used to make quiches let's make a quiche so we did that and then that same afternoon we baked a German apple cake which was delicious so let's choose a baking sticker for that who there's some good ones here eh? maybe we'll go with this one from paper bits co cracking the eggs there because that works both for the quiches and for the cake. My brother and I worked on a thousand piece puzzle. It was a Disney Pixar theme and honestly it was the most fun I have ever had doing a puzzle. I think because there were so many different characters throughout it. A lot of times we do puzzles that are like a landscape so there's a huge expanse of sky or grass or sea and the pieces are almost all the same color and it's definitely more challenging. But this one, the pieces were all different because there were so many different characters and I mean, I'm, I've grown up with Disney and Pixar so I was happy to recognize everyone. It was just really nice. So let's see, these are small so I think I'll probably just use two of them here. It's a couple different colors. These are from Planner Monkey Coat. She did these, I think I asked her when I was first on her PR team, if she had ever made or would make puzzle pieces and she made these. And they are so cute. I went out for dinner with someone and we just had a really good conversation. You know, when you have one of those, one of those times where it just feels really connected. So let me find that. I think I'll put this guy here from Once More With Love. And my brother and I went shopping and grabbed some smoothies. So I don't really have smoothie stickers. I know because I wanted to find one to use in the Wonderland Choo Choo too as well, but I think I can use this here because that is the type of cup that we had. There we go. I love having memories from the month here. So let's put my captions here so that I remember specifically what these stickers represent. Quiche 
and Apple Peak. This one will write Disney Pixar. Ugh, I hate when I lose lettering check like this. I'll write that one in after and yeah I'll write the name of them all in after there as well. There we go my reflect and look ahead spreads. Now I'm going to go through and just plug in these birthdays in the weeks. I am also going to be ordering more of these for next year for sure. So we had five, eight, 11, 20, 24, Oh, and 30 is over here. I cannot believe we're in the last two months of the year. And what else? Oh, I just had a thought and it's flitted away. <laughs> oh, I wanted to put a sticker in for daylight savings. If I have one, I think I do. I will keep it in the seasonal section here. Yes, here's one for fall back. Well, I could put Remembrance Day in there too. Do I want to put Remembrance Day in? You know what? Probably not. Maybe I'll save that for when I do my memory keeping in my A6. So we're putting that on Sunday the 6th. Oh, well, I see it is in there, but do I also want this because it's cute? Yes, I do. Okay. So we've plugged all those in. Now I will put in my appointments. So we've got one on the 17th at 4.30. I usually write the time first, but that's okay. 10.40 on the 23rd. Okay, everything there is plugged in. And then I will go ahead and set this up with my power sheets. Like I have already mentioned, October was difficult for me. So I really kept it simple. I do like this setup, so I will keep it the same. I think I'm actually going to adjust this a little bit though because I didn't use this to-do list really at all this month and I rarely do. So what I think because this only has three daily items and one monthly is I will use one column for that and I'm going to leave the next two blank and just see if I end up using that for to-do lists. Maybe I'll put a quote there, some washi tape. I don't know, but I just don't think it's worth having three separate. Well, I mean, I could do it that way. You know what? Maybe what I'll do is I will just flip this, put the tracker here because it just feels more full then it might get a little less full as it goes. Okay, let's try that this month. So I do have planner in here. I'm just gonna write plan. But that is to remind me to get in my planner every day, hopefully every evening. Because one of the reasons that I haven't been keeping up in this is because I simply haven't been opening it. So it will obviously work much better for me if I you know, open it and I can actually use it and keep up with it. So we'll see. And it's not that I'm even tired of this planner, especially, or wanting to change it up. It's more just a cycle that I'm in, a low mood cycle, I guess. So I'm just meeting myself where I am and going from there. So I will put my action items here, my weeklies with this Tombow. Again, because it helps me know that it's connected to my power sheets. So got Instagram schedule, YouTube schedule, and the shaking meditation. 
And there we go. I'm not going to put the to do or this week sticker down yet because I'm not sure if that's how I will actually use this category. If I do, obviously I will put it down. Let's just go to my monthly color palette spread here. Okay, this looks beautiful. I love that I was consistent with this and I can just see all the colors I chose. I did debate using this purple in November, but it was just a little lighter and springier to me, probably because I used it in April. So here we are with, oh, is it? Oh no, I put the black on. It's N60 here. Nothing new in these pages. I'm still not using these trackers they just weren't working for me so that is totally fine oh i can show you that i do still fill in my instagram and youtube subscribers just so that i can see any growth i was trying to follow a schedule here and write down all my youtube videos that never ended up happening but this little bit i've done and then we will go to november I love these colors, even though the spacing is weird. Yeah, this is just a lovely month. The monthly view, I'm going to try again, the same as in October and September, oh, this is September, to use this for content planning. September, successful. October, started out okay, and then I just dropped off. I will try again in November, but I'll try and keep it manageable. And then we have the first week set up. So let's look at the stickers that we'll keep in here. So I did talk about keeping kits in here. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that. You know what guys, I answered my own question when I said it just feels a little bit overwhelming. I don't need anything that feels overwhelming for now. So I'm gonna put these all to the side. I might see if I have just any gray or cool toned boxes left because that's how I organized them at one point. So I should have one in here somewhere. Yes, right here. So I'll just keep this one with me in case I want to use any of these boxes. The rest of the kits will go away this month. So we've got this. I might keep a couple of these out actually. I don't think, well, hmm, could be interesting, right? Okay, so let me think for a second. So we've got this, I'm going to, everything's all in here together now. I had these out because they were blue last month. I do think I'll keep it out. I think I might just go over the blue if I use these because it's so perfect for a cozy, moody fall. Yeah, I'll keep her. Actually, no, I'm going to move her. I haven't used her in here just because she feels a little big. So I'll keep her with my journaling stickers, but these moods I always keep in here. And my Salem Creative ones as well. I've kept this in here. I'm trying to use this more when I'm writing because of the way I grip my pen. My hand's always on my paper and it makes pens skip way too often. So I keep this in here and hopefully I will start using it. So we'll put this here. Did I put in my December script? No. But where is it? Well, I will find that off camera at some point, I hope. <laughs> oh boy, guys. Okay, well, I know it's around here somewhere. It's just probably hard to see because it has only the one month. Ah, here it is. Left. Okay. Put that where it belongs. And let's see if we have any functional ones that I want to use this month because I might have some purples that work. No, I'm not going to use these this month. Nope. Here it is. <laughs> Ooh, look at this color. That's probably the way to go. I'll double check though. Oh, that is perfect. I love these. Okay. I'll keep these 
and then I just wanted to decide if I'd like to keep any of these. I'm not going to keep this one. I wouldn't use it enough. These are, hmm, how are these sized? Are these sized? Would they fit? No, they're probably sized for, what, the one and a half inch columns maybe? So, they could be cute though. They could be cute in kind of these. Hmm. Keep these for now. And do I want to keep this just for the tiny stars? I love the idea of having stars sprinkled in throughout the month because it says when it's dark, look for stars. I'll just keep these ones in here as well. There we go. I don't think that should be overwhelming. If it is, I'll just take them out. So we've got that ready. I can put all these guys back in. I'll just take out last month's functional stickers, which were these two. Perfect. Excellent. So before I put this back in, I was actually thinking of sliding it into the front because obviously now that I'm at the end of the year, there's the bigger hump here. And with this folder, it feels very unbalanced. So let's see if we'd like that. So that means that this would come out. I've also toyed with the idea of just using it in its plastic cover for now. Ooh, that's, I don't love that, but it's not like I don't have other pockets in here. The side hasn't been stretched out at all because I don't keep anything in it. What was I saying? Oh yes, I have considered just using it in the plastic cover again, so I might do that. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that does feel better even though it's different. So let's go ahead and put this in. So there we go. I won't put anything, hmm, I don't want it to stretch too much. So let's see, but where am I gonna put these ones? Oh, I don't love change guys. Okay, well those can go right in there. And this guy is just the tiniest bit too big for this folder. So I'll keep it in the back. There we go. Okay, that worked out just fine. This we can put in here. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's get our pens going. So we'll keep the Tombow. Ooh, are these gonna be closer to each other? Yeah, close, but still fine, I think. The Klenna. That's kind of a funny fit, but Think it'll be fine. I could move this over. Mm, okay, let's try that. There, that's a little bit of a better fit. Beautiful. It's kind of it's kind of wonky here. Okay, well, I will leave it like that for a couple of days. If it bothers me, I will either switch it back or I will just use the clear cover. But before we finish up, I will switch out my washi tapes. The other thing about October is this washi tape palette just didn't feel super cohesive to me and I wasn't really drawn to it. I loved September's palette so, so much. I think that could have been part of the problem, but I am much more drawn to November's at the moment. So hopefully that's a good sign. I don't even think I need to put any clips in here. Sometimes I do just so they don't shuffle around so much, but I guess I could leave one. So there we have my setup for November. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know that these videos are kind of rambly and this one is late because I was a little bit under the weather but I figured I was setting it up anyways, so I wanted to come on here and share with you guys.
If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.